Playoffs are upon us, and I'm your Washington Redskins reporter and CBS 6 intern Jacob Vaughn, here at Cloverhill High School for an exclusive interview with Dalton Collins. Now a quick word from Redskins running back Darius Geis. Hey man, this is First and Vaughn, you know. Round one of the playoffs, First and Vaughn's game of the week, number five Clover Hill and number four Verina. Let's go. This is First and Vaughn, this is First and Vaughn, this is First and Vaughn, you know. Joining First and Vaughn for an exclusive interview is Clover Hill's running back and linebacker Dalton Collins. I'll attach his huddle link below. I'll tell you right now, as a former NCAA student athlete, grades are number one and you currently have a 3.5 GPA. How do you balance athletics and academics? Um, you know, basically, you know, it's time management. Um, as a team, we all have study hall um, every day before practice. And then, you know, in the mornings, you know, if I have to knock out extra homework, I do that before school. Um, but, you know, it's time management. You got to balance, you know, Friday night lights, and, you know, and Saturdays after a big win. Oh, yeah. And then you got to balance, you know, Monday through Friday. Right. You know, so you just got to balance That's it out. good work ethic. All right, through the first six games, you had 81 tackles, 12 sacks, and seven touchdowns. Which do you prefer, running back or linebacker? Honestly, I'm a linebacker. Um, they use me as running back, you know, kind of just. Power get, formation? Yeah, like pretty much line. just a one yard or three yards out. <laughs> um, but I like playing linebacker. Okay. Um, you know, just hitting people. And then uh, I call the defense over there. So, you know, I like ha having kind of that freedom too. Because okay. coach, you know, defense coordinator, he, um, Coach Jennings, he, he likes me to kind of be free with my um, my calls. Yeah. So, like, he'll call something, but if I see something different, you know, I could kind of switch it up. On offense, it's not that, you know, I don't have that power, yeah, yeah. you know. So, <laughs> I like defense a lot more. Okay. So, last year you were named second team all region linebacker. How would being named a state champion sound to you? And, you know, you saying it right there sounds pretty good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, but we just got to take one, one game at a time. And that's kind of what we've been doing, um, you know, since we've lost way back. Uh, you know, we just learned how to take everything one game at a time. Um, and if we eventually end up that name, then it is what it is. All right. Got your offensive alignment behind the camera. Yes, sir. Ready. Yes, sir. They look ready, don't All they? Right. Part two, round one. Link to the side. Link, link, link to the side. Bust it, bust it, baby. Bust, 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 bust it. Foremost, if you play fantasy football, stay tuned. My fantasy visions are up next. In 2018, Clover Hill finished with a record of 5-6. and six. Now fast forward to 2019, and Clover Hill finds themselves sitting at 8-2 and two on a six-game winning streak. Clover Hill has eight wins for the first time since 2010. To you, what's been key? Honestly, uh, it's just executing. You know, four quarters a game. Uh, offense, defense, special teams. Special teams is big on our team. Um, every, single, every single practice is just special teams for like 45 minutes. Um, so that's kind of a big deal. It's just the small things. Uh, we do like drills that you wouldn't even like think about doing at the high school level. Yeah. You think more like well, kind of rec levels. league. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like some of the drills, you're like, oh, we do that in rec league. Or we do that at the high school level too, yeah. just to get that muscle memory in. Um, and then Friday nights, I mean, we just kind of, you know, do what we do and put believe in, in each other and put in the work and grind. And okay. here we are. Last week, Verina played on Saturday and lost to Highland Springs. After that game, the media and everybody started saying that those two teams would see each other in the playoffs <sighs> right away overlooking Clover Hill. How do you respond to that? Well, I mean, everyone looks, you know, looks us over, mm -hmm. you know, because two years ago, this whole entire program went two and eight. Oh, yeah. And then now this year, we're eight and two. So just in two years, it completely flipped. And last year, we went five and five. And so this year, you know, people thought, oh, it's just going to be, the they had one lucky year. That's what they called it. They called it the lucky year. <laughs> um, and then so, you know, a couple teams like, you know, Cosby, they, they kind of counted us out. You know, they thought they had it in the bag. Uh, they were like five and one at the time. We were five and two because of the homecoming loss. Went in and ran it up on them. And then we did the same thing of, at Monacan last week, 35-14. Um, didn't really stand much of a chance, you know. We just yeah. kind of go in four quarters, you know, believe in ourselves. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, Friday night when we go against Verona, we're going to have to do the same thing. And uh, nothing's really going to have to change. I mean, we just got to believe in each other, yeah. play, and see what happens. So. The Verona is also 8-2. and two. The Blue Devils are ranked 12th in the state, and they've yes, scored sir. 509 points. As a senior, there is no, oh, we'll get them next time. Yes, it's time sir. to strap down. It's win or go home time. What will it take to advance in the playoffs and extend this winning streak to seven games? Well, I mean, in order to advance, you got to win, right? So, oh, yeah. you know, that's a big focus. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, you know, with winning a ball game, there also comes a lot of fun with it. You know, when you start getting up by a score, you know, you start having fun. You know, the, the younger guys start getting in. Uh, sadly, that's probably not going to happen, you know, for it's a playoffs, long time. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's playoffs. It's all business. Um, we're going to have to shut down the run. We're going to have to shut down the quick slants, the pass. Um, defense, you know, when the offense is on the field, they're going to have to 
outsmart the defense. I mean, that's, you know, that's the key yeah. to every game is the, out, the offense has to try and outsmart the defense, the defense vice versa. Um, honestly, you know, I got faith in, you know, all the teammates that I have and all the coaches. I mean, we've been doing it all year. I don't really see the hierarchy of Rhino over Clover Hill. Mm -hmm. Same record went against the only team that they haven't gone against that we didn't is uh, Highland Springs, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So we pretty much have the same record. Okay. So let's see what happens on Friday. Do you turn down the radio when you're looking for an address or you just crank that music up? And you you know, that on? music stays blasting. <laughs> 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 uh, on my phone, you know, I got the Google thing and I just, you know, it, it tells me when I got to turn or what, <laughs> what house I'm going to be at. Uh, but if I'm like in the middle of nowhere though, I mean, sometimes I might get like, I'm like, huh, you yeah. got to focus up yeah. a little bit, can you? <laughs> but um, nah, usually it's just always blasting. Up next. It's fancy football. This is first and Vaughn, you know. To my right and to my left and back and forth I step. Uh, to my right and to my left I'm back and forth. That was a great interview. Thank you, Coach Jennings, and good luck to Clover Hill against Verina in first and Vaughn's game of the week. Shout out to Madison Evans for subscribing and liking each week. Time for fancy football visions, the drops of the week. Drop Jets wide receiver Robbie Anderson and Rams quarterback Jared Goff. The standings from first and Vaughn's fancy football league are getting out of hand close to playoffs. Let's take a look at the one team who struggled as the lowest scoring team of the week. This team played their cards right and earned them a spot as the highest scoring team of the week. Now my players you need to add. Add Vikings tight end Kyle Rudolph and Bills wide receiver Cole Bisley. Now, every single one of you, subscribe below because... You know yours truly, you know. Damn, I forgot what I was saying. This is first and Vaughn, you know. Bust it, bust it, baby. Bust it, bust it, bust it, baby. Bust it, bust it, baby. Bust it, bust it, bust it, baby. I'm Sima Grady. One on three. Damn, it's all on me. Long range, long range. Things gotta happen. Something gotta change. I go, scoop, scoop. Zoom, zoom. I go, scoop, scoop.